YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be going over investments you can be doing to make coins in FIFA 23. We're also going to be going over what SBCs we should be expecting in the next few days. But before we do all that, we got to talk about content today on Saturday. If you want to have millions of coins in FIFA 23 like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA coins. Make sure you use code Teddy at checkout to get 5% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Saturday was pretty solid. We didn't get any sort of casino SBC like a hero or a player pick, nothing too crazy. People were thinking it may, you know, end up happening, but we did get a Zambrota Shapeshifter SBC and oh my God, this card is nasty. He's basically Socrates, but cheaper. I believe he costs, let me just double check real quick on Footbin. I think he's just around 500,000 coins. He's 540,000 coins. Fairly cheap. Socrates was over a mil. He's got high, high work rates, four-star skills, five-star weak foot. It would have been nice because he already had five-star weak foot. If they gave him five-star skills, oh my god, this would be insane. But really, really solid looking card. And I mean, from the few games I played, I almost felt like he, I mean, I only played five games with this Sambrota because I used his loan and I used Socrates for one game. So I can't give too much of an opinion, but I did feel like Zambrota was the better card almost, but I didn't play with Socrates enough. So don't take my word for that. But Zambrota really solid, really cheap, made center mids on the game actually come down. If we take a peek on Footbin real quick, you can use the tracker sometimes. These are the top cards down in the past four hours. Rabio, check him out. Rabio was up over 900,000 coins, Zambrota comes out, boom, he's now 678k, Barella is 400k, a few hours ago he was 550, uh, what other center mids do we got, Benacer is 200k, a few hours ago he was almost 300k, 275, and Socrates is down as well as you can see there, so that is the Zambrota effect, really good SBC, Hopefully we can get more cards like that from EA. And then the other thing we got today was a Shapeshifter Challenge 2. I mean, it's a mixed players pack. No one really cares about it. It was blah. Uh, we also got Man of the Match cards today. I think Gundawan and Kunku, Jared Bowen. Those are really the only ones that are somewhat interesting. And uh, just before we continue through everything in the video, you know, the overnight flips that I talked about, the Frankowski's and the Toko Akambi's I bought, I ended up making like 300,000 coins on those cards. Frankowski, we bought for 235 on average, sold for 272 on average. Toko Akambi, I pretty much sold them for what I bought them for, but I had a lot of Frankowski, so I made a lot of profit there. Now, let's talk about everything else. Foot champs, still no foot champs fix. For those of you guys that don't know, if you finished your foot champs, um and you got enough to get a pack, a team of the season pack, which is 14 wins, you don't get the pack right here. The pack, the, they, they completely took it out. Okay, is it there at 16 wins? Okay, so they, yeah, it's just, it's not even there, but at 14 wins, you're supposed to get a team of the season pack, but they had an issue where, I, we talked about in the previous video, if you open the pack, the players came out as red and not blue team of the season cards, they came out as foot champs team of the season cards and they were tradable so that's why you're not getting that and it's still not fixed and i don't know what's going on there and that kind of goes into some of our investments as well we'll get into that in a second but also no compensation news i know someone a bunch of people were tagging me in a tiktok saying yo teddy brazil compensation this is what they're saying we've known what they've been saying for a while they've we've talked to ea live chat it's just we're waiting we're waiting and they're looking to see who's affected by it it's just i don't know maybe it's taking a long time because so many people bought the pack this time we could think about it that way because when I did the Polish pack, when the Polish pack was wrong and we did it, there weren't as many people being like, oh my God, it, it, Polish pack, let's take a gamble and see if we get compensated. But then when the Brazil one came around, everybody was buying the Brazil pack. So maybe it's just so many people they have to figure out with the Brazil issue. That could be the situation there with compensation and why it's taking so long because the Polish one only took a week. Now, Let's talk about investments. We talked about all the content today. It was really just Sambrota hurting center mids, and he's a really good card, and a lot of people are probably going to do him, including me. Did we get the 500k pack too? Yeah, we got the 500k pack now. Okay, so investments. You got three investments. This is what I had on my stream. If you join my stream, I like to put things up. The team of the week price is definitely off. Stuff has risen because, I mean, I've been telling you guys, if you watched the previous video, you could have been buying the team of the weeks, but now it's, you know, they're up in price. So... 
That's what we put 83 to 88 for fodder. Team of the week's 11K max and team of the seasons. I just said they need to drop. And now, now the situation with team of seasons needing to drop is because, you know, foot champs. There's zero supply on team of the season cards because EA doesn't know what to do with foot champs. They're not fixing it. So team of the season cards just keep rising and rising and rising and rising. It's crazy. So hopefully they can fix the team of the season pack issue soon. And we, oh my God. Team of the Weeks are rising even more now. Yesterday, I was telling you guys to still buy the Team of the Weeks at like 11K. And now they're 13K. This is crazy. Even they're almost 13.5. Wow. Um, I don't think they're going to stop rising. I really, I, I don't think they stop rising. I think they continue to go up in price until, you know, maybe a tradable Team of the Week SBC comes out. So our three investments, Team of the Weeks. We've been buying them for 10K all week. And if you weren't, doing it you missed out and they're already up 3,000 coins i mean we can look at my transfer list it's just a bunch of team of the weeks you kind of missed that y you missed the ship on, on the team of the weeks you're gonna have to pay an extra 3,000 coins so i still think it could be a good investment yeah i do because last year during the shapeshifter promo we saw team of the weeks go from 10k to 40,000 coins so you know why not buy team of the weeks they could very well do very good same thing with team of the seasons team of the seasons went from like i think they were down at like 18 20k last year they went all the way up to 70 000 coins so i had people coming to my stream yo do i sell team of the weeks no yo do i sell team of the seasons no you're crazy especially team of the seasons don't sell because we're getting a, a potential new icon spc tomorrow so team of the weeks 13,000 coins, absolute, absolute, absolute max. You should be able to get them for cheaper on bid. Yeah, I mean, you can just see, I got all mine for 10.5 max pretty much. And uh, yeah, that's the situation with Team of the Weeks. I do still think there is room for them to rise. If we get, say, the Icon SBC tomorrow has a Team of the Week requirement, oh my God, that would be insane. If we get like a Casino SBC on Monday, like an 85 plus player pick and there's a team of the week requirement they're going to 20k easily because you got you got to look at it this way as well the team of the seasons i think are like 45,000 coins right now so that's really expensive really really expensive it's way too big of a gap between the team of the weeks if we go team of the season you have team of the weeks at 13k and you have team of the seasons at how much are they oh, brother really Oh my God, they're 46,000 coins. That is a over a 30,000 coin difference. So I definitely think these team of the weeks, it's just gonna take like one or two requirements for them to just really fly. So I like the team of the week still 13K max. Team of the seasons, it's still what I said, they need to drop. Before we buy team of the season cards, they need to come down in price. I mean, it's just EA need to fix the pack. Make your game work, EA. It shouldn't be that hard. Hey, this pack, just don't make it give red players. Make it give blue team of the season players. How about that? It's not that hard. So can you fix your damn game? The team of the season upgrade SBC that came out on Monday, they said, oh, we'll fix it and release it again later. They never did it. And it's Saturday. And yeah, I, I, I don't know. No compensation for that yet either. So I don't know what's wrong with EA. They, they, they suck. But that's that with Team of the Weeks, 13K. Team of the Seasons, they need to drop. Now let's talk about fodder. Shapeshifter promo last year, I showed you guys in the previous video. I'm not gonna go through it all again. Fodder did very good, very, very good. Now, fodder, we're actually gonna come over to Footbin. It's a little tough because Zambrota came out. Because of Zambrota, we actually have some fodder up in price. And the fodder that's really up in price is 87s and higher. 86s are still, you know, chilling at a decent price. 87, 88, 89s. They're coming back down and they will probably continue to come down as the night goes on. Because when is the low for fodder? It's the past like month or two. The low for fodder has been like Saturday night usually. Because we get an icon or something on Sunday. So Saturday night when like squad battle rewards and shit is coming out. That's usually the low for fodder. So 87 plus could do really good because let's just real quick let's lay out the SBCs that we got last year and it could be similar this year I would expect it to be somewhat similar this year and then we'll also add the SBC from this year so tomorrow on Sunday I'm guessing we get the new icon if you haven't seen the new icon it's leaked to be a Brazil France or Netherlands 90 plus icon SBC I think it's like 
team of the year, foot birthday, prime, or trophy titan icon, if I'm correct. That's going to be crazy. And that could make fodder do very, very good. High rated fodder. And then Monday, I'm guessing, you know, upgrade SBCs, maybe a 85 plus player pick SBC. That's what we got last year. And then last year on Tuesday, we got a year in review player pick SBC. And then last year on Wednesday, we got a 93 plus, I think it was 93 plus, or it was just a team of the season or shapeshifter player pick. It was something like that. So a lot of big SBCs coming out. And that's why fodder last year did so good. And I expect it to be similar this year. Now, 87, 88, 89. Yes, they can do good. It's just they can do very good, actually. It's just they're already inflated. So, you know, if they do come down in price tonight, like 87's back at around 13K, anything below 14K, cool, interesting. 88's closer to like 18K, maybe more so 17K is what you would want, more so 17K, really. Great. But when we look at stuff like 86's, you know, they haven't really moved. They're somewhat actually down. They've been chilling at around 11K. 85s are actually below 8k now they're down 84s are you know 4k still haven't moved but haven't risen 83s are still at around 2k or less as you can see there so you could even do 82s at 700 i mean last week 82s went crazy do i expect that again this week probably not but that would be crazy if we get another 82 requirement and they go to like 2000 coins again that was wild but we want to look at the fodder that, you know, hasn't risen yet. So we're looking at 83 to 86 overall cards. These cards are probably going to drop more tonight. I would say, let's make sure this isn't some sort of leak. That is not a leak. It's Foot Sheriff, I think, tweeting about so rare. Is that so rare? Yep, so rare. Who cares? So 86 overall cards. You're going to want to try to get them closer to 10K. 85s, you want below 8K. You're going to uh, more try to get for like 7.5 on bid and 84s you want below 4k. You're going to try like 3.7 max. And then 83s you want below 2k closer to 1.5. And then 82s probably 700, 800 absolute max. Now, when it comes to those fodder ratings, here are some filters you can do. You guys always love these filters when I do them. So here we go. 83s are around 850. So you always do a filter like that and they're around 2k. So it would be something like that and max by now 10k. That would be if you want to try to get some really good deals. But I don't know how crazy that's going to go. You could also go 800, 1700. And if you do that, you should be getting some 83s. I'm not getting too many popping up. There we go. 83, 83. And it would be like that. But if you want just to be able to win more cards, I'd go like min price 1400, max price 1700, and this should give you a decent amount of 83s. 1500, 17, 15, you should get a good amount of 83s. Brooks calling me one second, let me tell her I'm filming a YouTube video. I am filming a YouTube video, come in for a second, and then we'll be good to go. Love you, bye. Okay, so uh on to 84s now it's the same situation you know you can make the min price 1100 because that's the min price of 84s 84 start at 1100 83 start at 800 or i think it's 850 now that's why i'm putting the min price around those 85s start at 2100 so that's kind of why i choose those but you know if you want it to be simpler all right so 83s are around what is it 4000 84s are around 4000 so we're gonna push this up to like 3k and then i'd go max price 37 and then min by now 4-1 and max price 10k. This should be a good amount of 84s. 84, 84, 84 is 3k right there. So this is a good bidding filter to pick up a lot. If you want to potentially get like really, really good deals on bids, you'd put them in price at 1100 because that's where 84 overall cards start at. Hello, Miss Mr. Brooklyn. Uh, 85 overall cards start at 2100, but when we're looking at them, they are around 8K. So we're going to go something like min price 7K, max price 7, 6 maybe. And then you know what we could actually do? You can go min by now 10K. Min by now 10, 2, 5. That's going to get rid of all 81, 82, 83, all the crappy gold rares. So you can actually do something like that. Let's even drop the min price a little bit. And then boom, look at all these 85s. Look at that filter. And then if you want, you can also just make it 2100. That's where 85s start at. And boom, there you go. You can try to get some good deals. And same situation with 86s. They are 10K, so that's going to be a little higher. You're probably going to have to go... I mean, we're going to go like something like that. We're going to go min by now, 11.5. And that's probably going to be around your filter for... 
86 overall cards. These are a little trickier to lock on to, I would say. Yeah, I, 86s, it might just be, hey, pick a pick a player because I can't think of a filter right now. I don't have one in my head for cards that are over 10K at the moment. So maybe, I mean, you're going to have to up the max price, maybe 10.75. Mm, I think my market was glitched. I think the filter before was fine, but something like that. Should work. We're, we're about to go see the Spider-Man movie, so I'm trying to film this video quickly. But that's that with fodder. And when it comes to fodder, you're going to be selling it on Wednesday and Thursday, most likely. Wednesday and Thursday. Last year, Thursday was the high. Like, it peaked big time on Thursday. So if you can't afford to sell your fodder on Thursday, that's probably going to be the best day. And that's that with all the investments. You know, the weekend is the time to buy. This is, this is the time to buy. Buy your fodder now. The longer, if you keep waiting, it's probably not going to go well. Maybe the low rated fodder, like 82s and 83s, could be lower tomorrow on Sunday because it's, you know, it's an icon SBC. Sometimes the ratings are too high and it doesn't affect them too much. But, you know, it's good to just get in now and then just wait till Wednesday or Thursday. And we went over Team of Seasons. We went over Team of the Weeks. And that is going to be it. I'm not going to ramble on too much more. I'm going to go watch the Spider-Man movie. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. My free trading Discord, Twitch live stream, description down below. Thank you guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.